Good morning. This video is to take a quick look at program four. It's a larger program. It covers three concepts, strings, files, and the collections framework. So what this program is going to do, it's similar to the Mad Libs, if you've done them in school, I did, where you're prompted for a word based on a part of speech, and then those values are put into blanks. So you're going to do something similar to that in the program. Let's take a look at the files. Here's the file format. It's a text file. The files will have a .txt extension. First line is the title. Notice there are two asterisks separating the separate parts of the file. These are like delimiters. And then the second set of data will be the prompts. And the prompts should go into some type of collection class of your choice. Once you get to the next asterisk, you know that the rest will be the story. And notice in the story, you will have blanks formatted like this. So you will take the value in order provided by the user with these prompts and fill that in. Setting up the data files. If you type this statement into your NetBeans, you will see that your working directory is your folder that is created, your project folder. In this case, it's my folder Mad Libs. I have placed for simplicity, so that user doesn't have to be prompted for a path, I placed the three text files here. Notice they all have text extensions. So what's going to happen is when the program starts, you should probably have a method that's going to look into that folder and load the file names, not the files, just the file names, into some kind of a collections class you will return and then you'll call another method that will create the menu. You've created many menus in these programs. Now the menu is going to look at that collection class object with the file names in it and it's going to print that out removing the txt extension. So that's one of your string classes. Uh, what, what method will remove the txt extension? The user then will select one of these and next will be a method to read the content. Now remember, there's three different sections into the text file. So you'll read the title, then you'll read uh, all the prompts into some kind of, again, a collection object, and then you'll read the story into something like the string builder object. After you've read that, it's time to get the prompts. So you will now, I would create a method in which you get the prompts. And again, put that into some type of a collection object. One of these classes I list here. After you've got all the prompts, then call a method that's going to update your story so that the blanks come out and the values provided by the user with the prompts come in. And after you've done that, you print the story. There are many sources of errors here. So I want to make sure that you do some error handling. Let's take a look at how this executes. So I've already started running it. It's already read the file names in and produced this menu. And I'm going to choose the one the first one. Notice it says a document with an error. And I get trouble with Mad Lib files. So if there's a document that doesn't follow the format, in this case, there were not two asterisks in this, on the second line, it will give an error message to the user. I'm going to run it again, and I'm going to choose one of them, not the first one with the error. There's some directions, and here will be the list of prompts. I decided to use the the text that was read in, and then I decided to append then that arrow to imply, okay, let's enter some data. So plural now, I'll go ahead and do geese. And I'm going to fill this out and I'll come right back. This is going to take a while. I do want to say that maybe you want to uh, do something to make this process faster when you're testing. Maybe you could create a shorter text file for testing. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I think this is the last in the list, and I hit enter, and I, I add a little extra output, and here is the title output, a space, 
and hello, my fellow geese in 2022. It's me, George Washington, the first programmer. So this is the stuff I filled out with the prompt, filling in the blanks. It worked really well. I'm really happy with it. Now, there could be several problems. You saw the one problem with the text file. Another problem could be um, maybe the text file has the asterisks, but the number of blanks do not equal the number of values you have prompted for. We're back to the program again. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. These are the classes. I am requesting that you use at least three of these classes. So I don't want everything to be an array list. Let's try something different. Um, some of these have to be unique, and if you so, uh, I believe a set has to be unique. And as you see, there were multiple adjectives, so you couldn't use like a set for the prompts. Uh, but use at least three of these. One other thing I want to add is I want you to make everything, all of your variables and all of your objects local, and learn how to pass those objects from method to method instead of making everything. Um, static public variables uh, in the class. Okay, so good luck with this. You see that it is an extra 50 points. I hope you have fun programming.